Hello everyone, me Freeds here. Welcome back to another video. And I am slowly going insane staying inside my own house. I know that it's a health precaution and everything, and I definitely think that it should be in place. It's just crazy because pretty much all I do is schoolwork and videos. So this is kind of um, my getaway place. So anyway, today I am going to be reviewing a high five for Glenn Burke by Phil Bidner. So I hope everyone enjoys this video and if you do make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also turn on the bell when you do because it notifies you when my next video comes out i hope you enjoy let's get into it so a high five for glenn burke by phil bidner has 274 pages and it is a fiction but it does give some good historical facts about glenn burke it feels good to do that again so anyway, Silas is a huge baseball fan. He loves playing baseball. He loves the Astros. Boo! And he just loves baseball in general. And so one day, he has to do a school report. So he does it on Glenn Burke, the man who invented the high five while playing baseball in the 1970s. There's another thing, though, that he doesn't tell his classmates. Glenn Burke was the first openly gay baseball player and everyone hated him for it, and they, uh, managers started trading him away, and they didn't want him. And Silas is gay, and he doesn't want to tell anyone because he thinks that the same thing that happened to Glenn Burke is going to happen to him. So he tells his best friend Zoe, and this book is about him just trying to find his place and uh, seeing if he's going to tell anyone else that he's gay. So what I really, really, really liked about this book is that it shows kids it's okay to be different. Now, here's the thing. I don't care who you like as long as you're happy. I don't care what you look like, what you sound like, who you like. I don't care as long as you're a nice person. But not many people are like that. And some kids, I don't think, would recognize that. So I really like this book just shows that it's okay to be different and people are still going to love you for who you are. No matter who you are, no matter where you come from, people will love you for who you are. One thing that I didn't like was that Silas is a Houston Astros fan. Okay, I'm just kidding about that, but still, why do you have to make it a, uh, him a Houston Astros fan? I mean, come on, they're cheaters, and if you know, you know. And so what I actually didn't like was that uh, we only read about Silas trying to come out and not how he realized that he was gay almost because he talks about him realizing it but I feel like that the start of the book would uh, should have been him realizing that he was gay and then him doing this report on Glenn Burke and then him coming out to Zoe and everything else after I didn't like that uh we just got a little bit of background information about uh, how he found out because I think that it's also important for kids that they need to recognize it before coming out as well. Another thing that I didn't like was that Silas's friend Zoe's logic was unreasonable. And what I'm talking about here is that around the middle of the book to the end of the book, Silas and Zoe get into a huge fight because of what Silas says one day. And Zoe pretty much just says, I never want to talk to you again. We're not friends. And it just didn't make sense because they've been best friends for so long, right? He says one thing and then it's all done. And it was a pretty bad thing that he does say. But, I mean, you're still best friends. If my friend told me something crazy or said something about me, I'd just say, dude, knock it off. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to unfriend you because of that. It's just you're being pretty annoying and crazy in that one moment but I'm not going to turn you away and never want to talk to you again. So I've developed a new scoring system for books. So I will deem if the book is verified, neutral, or spoiled. So if a book is verified, that means that it is a verified good book by me. And hopefully in 10, 15, 20 years, uh, on the cover of books, it'll say Meep Reads Verified. If it was verified by me, that would be amazing. And uh, neutral will be, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. So I have to put it in the middle. And then spoiled means that I absolutely hated this book, and I do not recommend you to read it. So what do I think for this book? So 
I have officially verified this book. And I was thinking about it being neutral, but then I realized, well, I mean, it kind of teaches kids that it's okay to be you. And that is such an important thing because I have definitely had problems with that. Uh, pretty much every uh, tween and teenager always goes through this, and it's always an important thing to remember, whether, uh, you know, you're in the LGBT community or not, or if you just have self-image issues, anything like that, it's always important to acknowledge that you're not right and that everyone is just going to love you for who you are. And that's why I verified this book, and I think that it was amazing, and I'd recommend it to anyone who is having problems like this. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like the video and also subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy my book reviews. And also make sure to click the notification bell once you're subscribed so you're notified when my next book review comes out. So uh, in summary, this book was amazing. Uh, and I think that pretty much any teen with problems like this should definitely read it, teen or tween. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. This is me, Reed, signing off. I'll see you next time.